Hey everybody, this video is part of our full length The Onside Kick podcast. You can find that on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, you can pretty much find it anywhere. So we don't care where you listen, just stick around and check it out. We're going to move on though. The Oakland Raiders, Mark, they're without the quarterback. The yeah. quarterback got injured. He's my quarterback. He's my quarterback. Derek Carr, broken fibula, basically a broken leg. Had surgery today as we're recording the podcast on the 27th. Here's the deal. His mom said it went well. This is what I'm going to throw out. And with you saying it went well, the exact tweet from Derek Carr himself said, surgery couldn't have gone better, received great news, both exclamation points, already started the recovery process, exclamation point. Thank you for all of your prayers as I heal up. Here's what I want to throw out to you. Yeah. And this is Ricky being a, a little bit of conspiracy, Ricky, but here's Ricky looking at a miracle kind of a story. So the article on ESPN says Derek Carr has surgery expected out six to eight weeks. Mm-hmm. Yes, it could be eight weeks and this could all be thrown out the window, but I want to throw you with the best case. Let's say the recovery is going great. He's looking more towards that six week mark. This is a this is a chance where if Derek Carr could defy the odds, mm-hmm. just have his body do enough to be healthy in five weeks. Five weeks from today, when he had the surgery, would be the Tuesday before the Super Bowl. Derek Carr could be back if the Raiders make the Super Bowl. Mark. Could yeah. be back if, if everything goes right, the planets align, mm-hmm. and the Raiders make the Super Bowl. He could be back for a Super Bowl. So, to to quote my good friend here in <laughs> Chicago, Patrick Kane, not a chance, not a chance, Ricky. Usually it's me saying that. Not going to happen. Usually no, it's me saying No that. way in hell. <laughs> no way in hell is it going to happen. Uh, you're expecting Matt McGloin and maybe Connor Cook to get you into the Super Bowl? To get you past teams like the Kansas City Chiefs, the New England Patriots, you know, to get you through these. I mean, you can get through the Texans, sure, because that's a backup battle. <laughs> you can do that. Uh, but, yeah, there's just – I can't see a way it happens. I really can't see a way that you can get there. And that's even adding the fact that Derek Carr has to actually be healthy enough to make it happen and you have some time to practice probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no way. No way it's going to happen. It would be nice. But you know what? I kept saying all this time, I was like, this is not the year for the Oakland Raiders. This is not what I meant by this is not the year for the Oakland Raiders. Um, but yeah, it's just it's unfortunate. You know, this is a really, really good offense. It really is, and their defense is playing up. They're letting some things go, but they're playing up to the offensive level. And it's just, you know, the running game can only be so good. You know, it's actually kind of humorous in a way Hmm. if the Raiders win this they got the Broncos this week who are basically imploding they lose to the Patriots they get routed by the Chiefs all the Raiders need to do is win week 17 and they have a first round bye they're not playing until the divisional round here are the teams that they could face if they are the number two seed because here's how it all works If the Raiders win, they automatically win the division. They will automatically get a first-round bye. But get this. If the Raiders beat the Broncos and the Dolphins beat the Patriots, the Raiders are the number one seed. Either way, you got to win this weekend because if you're the two seed, the two teams that you would basically play are going to be either the Steelers or the Texans. Because right now how everything is mapped out is if the playoffs were to start today, Pittsburgh would play Miami in the 3-6, mm-hmm. and then the 4-5 would be Houston at 4, Kansas City at 5. Well, if Pittsburgh wins, they're automatically the highest seed. They will play the 2 seed, which would be the Raiders. So you automatically get the Steelers. But if the Dolphins were to win and the Texans, you could play the Texans. If the Dolphins were to win and the Chiefs win, you could play the Chiefs. So basically, Steelers, Texans, and Chiefs are who you could be playing. If you flip it, it just flips to the other side. Texans, Chiefs, and Dolphins. Where, to me, I'm sitting there, and besides Kansas City and Pittsburgh, 
I like my chances to get on to the AFC title game, even with Matt McGloin as my starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. The only reason why is, could you imagine a second-round matchup, Matt Moore and the Dolphins against Matt McGloin and the Raiders in Oakland? Well, even having Tom Savage versus Matt McGloin. Tom Savage, to backup quarterbacks mm-hmm. galore in the AFC. And for me, my <laughs> current prediction is predicting the fifth seed Oakland going into uh, you know, Houston, fifth Texas. Seed. So you think they're not even going to win and that the Chiefs are going to get the division? No, I'm giving it to Broncos. I'm giving the Broncos-Raiders game to the Broncos. They got some stuff to prove. Simeon needs to try and get that job. They could lean more on Latavius Murray in this game, though. They could. They certainly could, but that's a good defense in Denver. That is a good defense. So, yeah, I just think that. I will say, though, for the sake of Dolphins fans out there, I know you guys are listening, I do have you guys beating the Patriots. This week? Oh, yeah. Home game. Well, because this was an interesting week because I was listening to The Herd weeks ago, Mm -hmm. and he was like, you know what, New England, if they have the home field advantage locked up, they they would just rest the starters and basically give the game to the Dolphins. Kind of like what Belichick did, I think it was last year, with the Jets, where he basically gave the Jets a game to keep the Bills out of the playoffs, keep Rex Mm -hmm. Ryan away from the playoffs. He can't do that now. they got to play, they got to win, because the Patriots do not have home field advantage locked up. This is, this Raider, to get back to the Raiders, though, this is a team where... I think they can beat the Broncos, and the only way they beat the Broncos is, like I said, they got to lean on Latavius Murray against that Bronco defense, basically how they did it in the first game. Lean on Latavius Murray, ride him to a victory because you don't have Derek Carr. Yeah. I mean, that that's the way to win. I mean, we all know what the formula is. Have the defense play well, get the run game going, and high percentage throws. But then, from do you, but then do you just basically load the box if you're the Broncos? Yeah. Oh, just for say, sure. you know what? Load the box. We'll let Matt McGloin try to beat us. Yeah. I mean, that I'm sure that's what their their logic is over in Denver. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. But for me, I'm just I don't know. I don't believe that McGloin is going to be able to do it. I don't think Connor Cook is going to be able to do much. Uh, and yes, it's got a good running game. It's not the best running game out there, but it's pretty damn good. I mean, Latavius Murray on 20 carries had three touchdowns and 114 yards Mm -hmm. against the Broncos the first time they played. Yeah. And that was a Thursday night matchup, I believe. Mm -hmm. Thursday night football is a little wonky, though. Let's Mm -hmm. not get excited about Thursday night football. But, yeah, I just think that for this team, when you know that the deep ball is no longer there, because Derek Carr, damn, can he unleash the fucking dragon Mm -hmm. you're just not worried you're not worried about anything to me um they're getting into the playoffs we all know that the raiders are getting into the playoffs on most valuable podcast twitter Mm -hmm. at most valuable pod follow us uh you guys saw the the uh the poll that was there i hope you know asking how far they could go the majority of the people well i shouldn't say the majority the winning question or answer response was that they'll lose in the wild card well and the thing is and i want to kind of give credit where credit's due we did have a twitter follower he did tweet back with Uh with us saying hey you know what that's kind of hard to say because it depends on where they are do they have to play the wild card do they have to not play the wild card? But the poll is asking that. Do you think they will be yeah. in the wild card? If you think they're not going to be in the wild card, obviously they're not getting knocked out in the wild card. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was – I understand the sentiment of that, but – And it was Charles, the Twitter follower, yeah. who who tweeted But like that. me, I actually would have said that they would be getting to the conf- – or not the conference, the divisional. I think I said divisional. Because I think they can beat Houston. I can't, I can't remember what I said. I know I didn't say conference or mm-hmm. Super Bowl. I think they can beat Houston, um, even though Houston's got a really scary defense. So actually mm-hmm. that's probably a little tougher than you'd think. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm not going to buy in on Tom Savage, just like I'm not going to buy in on McGloin. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Miami, I don't know. They could probably beat Miami too. Well, it's one of those things where, and when you start looking at, are the Raiders finished? A, I'm going to say no, because they do have a competent head coach in Blackjack Del Rio, or should Mm -hmm. I say Big Balls Del Rio this year. 
with how many times he's been like Randy Marsh yeah. with his just balls in the wheelchair walking down the streets of Oakland. Wheelbarrel. It's really wheelbarrel. Did I say wheelchair? You did say wheelchair. A little <laughs> a different. Wheelbarrel. A little different. You guys know what I meant. I made the motion, but uh, I guess it could be a wheelchair. He could be a little walking different. in a wheelchair. But uh, it really depends on where they land. Mm-hmm. And to me, the obvious choice is you got to win. You got to get home field advantage because playing in the black hole is going to help you. If you lose, you're going to be the fifth seed. And this is if. Kansas City wins and takes the division away from you. Let's say you don't win the division. I think they can go into Houston and win. I mean, Houston to me is not a strong team. I think the Raiders could go in even without Derek Carr, win in Houston. And then after that, it's basically, well, if the Steelers win, then it becomes a, oh, great, we got to go to Foxborough. Yeah. Like, if if the Raiders do not, if they do not win the division— I think they could still get to the divisional because, like I said, I do not believe in the Texans. Getting past that, they better hope the Dolphins beat the Steelers because if they go into Foxborough, it's over. Yeah. If they go into Foxborough divisional round, it's over. Mm -hmm. And that's basically me saying, are they finished? No. But are they going to get to the Super Bowl? Probably not. Divisional will probably be as far as they go. Maybe the the conference title... No, I, I still can't because then they'd have to play Kansas City if Here, Miami won. And no, here's divisional. my big That's thing: it, divisional. Are they done? Not yet, but yes, they are eventually done. The They're door, not going to the the door is not closed, but it's getting ready to slam shut. Yeah, you're you're running towards it, but it's gonna shut before you get there. They will lose to New England. Mm-hmm. They will lose to Kansas City. Mm-hmm. They will lose to Pittsburgh. Th- those are the only three teams that scare me. I'm going to go ahead and throw Houston in there when I think about it because Houston's defense is better than your run game's going to be. Houston, to me, is, I think that matched I think up you will with compete. the Raiders. They, w- matched up with the Raiders, I think mm-hmm. that I would pick the Raiders in that one. But without the deep ball, all you're relying on is the run game. Houston will stop that. See, I think that they can. I think that the Raiders could do enough to win mm-hmm. that. W- would it be a blowout game? No. No, certainly but not. But I think the Raiders could do enough and make stops defensively on Savage mm-hmm. and get turnovers on Savage to A, keep their offense in the game, and B, maybe win that game. The The Chiefs and the Patriots, you ain't beating them without Derek Carr. And I kind of like, it pains me to say that, but that's just me trying to be realistic. The Steelers, I might give you an advantage. By advantage, I mean like a 20% win chance because that game, if you played the Steelers, would be in Oakland for the divisional round. But really that one too, it's like really I don't see how this team wins without Derek Carr. Nope. Against the Patriots, Chiefs, and Steelers. I mean, they could compete against some of these teams, and I do think they have a good chance of beating Miami um, mm-hmm. because of the strength of the run game. Although well, Miami's only, defense is no joke either. And the only way they would play Miami is if Miami win, Miami and Oakland win this week, and then mm-hmm. Miami wins their wild card game. Yeah. So to me, it's it just it doesn't look good at this point. It's unfortunate, but your team is there. If you're a Raider fan, you got to cheer for them. Mm-hmm. You got to hope they do as well as they can. That defense At can, least you're in can the do well. That run game can do well. You just got to see what Matt McGloin can can put up. Mm-hmm. And it's probably not too much, but you just got to hope he doesn't lose it for you. And the one question I want to ask Raider fans, and this is the one I want to leave you with before we move on to our playoff discussion, is let's say hypothetically you make the Super Bowl. Or, yeah, let's say you make the Super Bowl. Do you push for Derek Carr to come back and play in that game? Or do you say, you know what, I don't want to risk further injury? Because he'd be coming back a week before he'd be scheduled to. How confident would you be in that team if Derek Carr came back a week earlier than expected Just for that Super Bowl game. I want you guys to let me know what you think about that down below. And also let us think what you think. Are the Raiders finished? How do they match up in the playoffs without Derek Carr? And what do you think? The quarterbacks you have, McGloin and Connor Cook, 
can they be the ones to kind of bring you guys some playoff success, maybe win a game for you guys? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And don't worry, there is plenty more where that came from. You guys can check it out right over here. Click that video, start watching it, and just stick around on Most Valuable Podcasts.